guys, how you doing? Robert from Bishop Vending here. Uh, got a uh, comment in one of the other videos. Uh, customer wanted to know how we disable the sound uh, on the speakers. So just wanted to show you that. Here, let me turn them on. I don't know if you can hear it. I got it actually turned down kind of low. But the music never stops. In some places, uh, they don't want music all the time running. And even the lowest setting is still a little bit too loud. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how I disable the speaker so you don't get any sound. You can always turn it back on at any other time. You just have to open it up again like I'm going to. So let me go ahead and shut it off. All right. And now uh, let's get started. Okay, uh, I don't know what uh, size this Allen is, but it's an Allen. It says uh, CRV3. I don't know what the hell that is. Anyway, there are four bolts on the top that hold this plate on here. So we're gonna take all four of these off and then open it up. They just unscrew. Don't lose them though. I guess they're pretty long screws too. There's one. Maybe I'll fast forward through this. Okay, so that's the fourth one. Got them all off. Um, forgot to mention, before you do any of this, make sure you uh, shut the power off on the back. It's a good idea to unplug it, um, but I think shutting it off is okay, is good enough. So you can just lift the whole panel up. The whole thing comes up. And you can see the, uh, the controls for the, um, the joystick and the button controls and all that. So if you look inside here, you'll see the speaker sitting down there. Let me just lay this to the side. And the speaker will have two wires coming from it. One here and one here. One there, one there. And what I do is I just unplug each one. It just pulls right off. Let me do this one first. See, that one come off there. Actually, if you just pull one off, you'll be good because it doesn't complete the circuit inside the speaker. Hold on, this one's kind of a pain in the butt to get off. Okay, there we go. We got it off. So you can see both of them are off now. This one here, this one here. And that will disable the speaker. Let me put you back. And now we're gonna put this back on here. You just lay it back up and line up the, the screw holes. That's where they go. And put the screws back in. Okay, and if you haven't caught it yet, it's upside down. So make sure when you put it back, put it back the correct way. It should sit right in there. There you go. Otherwise, your whole screen and everything will be upside down. Okay, I put this, the four screws in here just to thread them in. So there's not a problem when I tighten them down. Oh, 
Okay, so I tighten them real snug and then I do about a quarter turn on each one afterwards to make them real snug. You don't want to do it too tight because it will actually break the plexiglass. There we go. All four are tightened down. Now let's turn it on. And we got no sound. Sound goes away, so you don't have to worry about it. It's pretty much just as easy as that. All right. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Make sure you do uh, uh, subscribe and like, and leave us another comment. Take care.